Alfred. Run analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. <laughs> How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah, here we are. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match, a Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown. I'm sending you the address. Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything, I swear. I just tied her up and left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought her here and planted someone else's trophies nearby. That's it. You gotta believe me. I do. Batman? That had better be you, and you had better be sorry. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? Prepare you make. Together, you're just competent enough to survive. Enjoy it while it lasts, Dark Knight. I have more in store for you than hitting things. Be my guest. No doubt you enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> well, don't just stand there, Dark Knight. Take that rocket-fueled roadster of yours and make your way to the Cauldron Train Yard. My first test is waiting. I'll be back soon. You'll be back right away. Guys like Eddie let me be until I started playing nice with the bat. It's unlike you to get caught. 
Was it an ambush? Blackmail? A trap? He invited me. What? He said he had a job. A job? Of the cat burgling variety. I'm pretty good at it, remember? Not all of us scamper around on rooftops at night because we want to help people, you big brooding boy scout. Now where's my key? Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death conference. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. A challenge in the Cauldron Train Yard. Fine, Nigma. I'll play your games and I'll win. Selena's life depends on it. might encourage your participation? I realized, you see, that the kind of image-obsessed narcissist who places bat symbols on his hubcaps would never willingly submit himself to the kind of humiliation I have in store. Yet, here you are, detective. <laughs> the humiliation is waiting below. You are staring, <clears throat> with stupefied incomprehension, at a mechanism I have calibrated to respond to an extremely precise radar pulse. radar pulse. In a moment, I will give you the decrypted code, Dark Knight. Oh, but first, I think we should run through the ground rules for tonight's festivities. Rule the first. You will address me at all times as Riddler, The Riddler, or Mr. Nigma, Sir. Otherwise, detective, I expect your patented brand of churlish silence. <gasps> what? What? How did you... How did you solve tonight's very first riddle? <laughs> well done. Well done. Welcome to my racetrack, detective. You must complete three circuits of this gauntlet, finishing each before the time limit expires. Spires. Spires. Come now, detective. Let's put that grotesque ego-mobile to the test. Be ready, Dark Knight. There's more to this test than just going really fast. Tick-tock, detective. Tick-tock. Can that ramshackle motor handle this? Faster, Dark Knight, faster! Can those flickering, faltering synapses keep up with my automatically adjusting force? Disabling the afterburner's failsafe. I need the extra speed. I'm 
shot. Dark Knight, is that really as fast as it goes? Let's work that undeveloped brain of yours. Detective, don't fumble now. Don't fumble now. Relax, Dark Knight. The ordeal is over. <sighs> Such a pity the laws of physics prohibit me from testing my non Euclidean designs. Now then, detective, detective, hop on the pressure pad beside me. Listen carefully, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Your friend's life depends on it. Back in the orphanage, a series of glass cabinets have appeared in front of Catwoman. Isn't that right, my dear? I see them, Eddie. Good. One of those cabinets, my dear, has your first key inside. The others, the, the others, they contain less useful keys. Keys that will unlock the admittedly slight contents of your skull all over the orphanage walls. Okay, Batman. Let's see if you're as smart as they say. One down. Well, well done to the pair of you! That's the first key collected. Um, don't expect to be sinking your claws into too many more. More and more. Too many more. <laughs> Did you really believe that a challenge designed by me, the Riddler, would be quite so easy? Oh, Dark Knight, you sweet, naive Sentinel. Of course it wouldn't! But now I have several hundred terabytes of performance data relating to the latest model of rocket-powered hearse you're driving. With that in mind, I have prepared for you something a little less knuckle-whitening and rather more brow-furrowing in Chinatown. Hurry on over, Detective, or it won't be curiosity that kills the cat. creature was once a man, Dr. Kirk Langstrom. There must be a cause for this transformation. His lab might hold the answer. We'll proceed with caution, sir. The creature could well be hiding in familiar surroundings. Splicing was a 
success. The recombinant molecule. Honey, you're doing it again. How about in English? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, sorry. So, uh, what we've done is merged the DNA of Desmodus Rotundus, uh, sorry, the, the vampire bat, into the human chain. This breakthrough could, it will, prevent and cure deafness in all humanity. How is that? Perfect, sweetie. Uh, are you getting this, honey? I think so. Is the red light on? There's a computer. Maybe it contains some answers. This computer stores all of Dr. Langstrom's research. his DNA with a vampire bat? That was never going to end well. If I search through his files, I may be able to create an antidote to his condition. I need to isolate the man bat's signature and remove it from Langstrom's DNA. That's it. I've created a clean DNA sample. Now all I need to do is make him take his medicine. Alfred, I've synthesized a cure in Langstrom's lab. Now I just need to find him. Any idea where he may be hiding? He's not in control of his actions. He could be anywhere. No one knows this city better than you, Master Bruce. You'll find him. His wife? Your parents? <laughs> what is it about dead relatives that turns you into a giant rodent? I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Miss Gordon, safety is on all of our minds, sir. Good luck. That thing will fly us! Move! I'm going! I'm at the bridge. One moment, sir. I should probably warn you, there's a significant militia presence ahead. Duly noted. I managed to access the files Miss Gordon was working on before her abduction. It would seem she found a weakness in the drones, sir. A direct hit from the Vulcan gun on their sensor array should destroy them with a single shot. Sergeant! Mercy for Charged warhead designed to penetrate the toughest armor. I've got surprises too, Batman. <laughs> 